Glycogen is an extremely important molecule to the human body. It provides a body with a molecule that gives it critical functionality in terms of its overall health and also its fitness and or endurance level. It provides the explosive burst our muscles need during high performance times. The explosive burst comes from the creation of glucose when the glycogen molecule burns carbs. A glycogen definition should could be something like this. It is a multi-branch polysaccharide of the glucose molecule which serves as an energy storage molecule in humans animals. This multi-branch chain provides the keys to burn carbs and also excessive and extensive bursts of energy. The glucose molecule contains a core protein glycogenin and the attached multi-branch glucose chain. This glycogen definition should also note that one glycogen molecule has upwards of 30,000 glucose molecules making up its multi-branch chain. It is important that this polysaccharide chain be multi-branched. It allows for the glycogen molecule to be bonded with lipid starches and proteins so as all three nutrient elements can be assimilated by your body upon contact with the glycogen molecule. Glycogen is produced in the liver and to a lesser extent the muscle mass. Glycogen supplies produced in the muscle mass stay in the muscle mass for exclusive use there. They do not migrate outside the muscle groups. After eating up to 8% of the liver's weight is made up by glycogen. These glycogen supplies are distributed over the body for the next 12 hours. Your immune system cells and specifically killer lymphocytes, leukocytes and macrophages would use glycogen supplies for their explosive burst killing power too. So if you're low on the supply of this critically essential molecule it can affect the action of your immune system. You can build excess glycogen supplies, much higher reserve stores of this molecule in your body with rebounding. These supplies do not deplete immediately, rather over time. If you have higher or enhanced reserve glycogen stores, you won't hit the wall by running out of glycogen supplies very easily, if at all. Glycogen also plays a vital role in balancing blood sugar, giving the body normalized energy levels throughout the day, fight or flight energy, digestion of food. It is critical to the energy levels and functionality of your brain. If the liver is damaged or needs to be cleaned, this will throw off the critical supply or proper production of this molecule in your body. The liver is the perfect organ to produce and distribute glycogen. Glycogen molecules tag along with the nourishing blood proteins which are distributed after being filtered or cleaned by the liver. Anyone needs better glycogen production. For any person, proper glycogen levels keep you healthy. For pro athletes, proper glycogen production ensures they don't hit the wall in training or real time. Which is why both lymphology and rebounding is essential and correct. The two combined together give max or hyperglycogen production output. Only one cheats you out of this. So which do you prefer? Do you like being cheated out of something? Can you imagine a team, be it football, hockey, soccer, whatever, all with heightened glycogen supplies in their body playing against the team with inadequate glycogen supplies or stores? Based on the above info, who do you think will win? This is what glycogen is and how important it really is to our health. Thanks. Dave Scriven, CL of BodyBeGood.ca